Hi, welcome to Illinois Institute of Technology. We're currently in WinCom, the Wireless Networking and Communications Research Center. I'm Matt Mazurek. And I'm Tanim Tahir. The goal of our research center is to study the causes and effects of wireless interference. Now, wireless interference is one of the main factors which degrades the performance of all wireless communications devices, be it cell phones, laptops, um, Bluetooth headsets. So we are looking into the mechanism of interference, and our ultimate goal is to develop mechanisms to mitigate interference. OK. Um, here we're looking at interference between four separate devices. This is what is called the spectrogram, where you can see the frequency, and you can see the time axis, and the color indicates the power. Now, in real time, you can see how the interference has, is occurring. You can see the microwave signal, which is this big thing here. It's periodic. And then you see these Bluetooth packets here. And then you see a data, digital data transmitter in this area, this red portion here. Plus, there is an access point right here. So all these, all these devices are operating in the same frequency at about the same time. So this is why you, you get interference. For example, the microwave oven here is interfering with the data here, plus this wireless laptop's data is interfering with this data, and so on and so forth. To mitigate microwave oven interference, we have um, designed this circuit to be used in conjunction with our uh, digital transmitter and receiver. Um, these are called com blocks, and they allow us to customize our transmitter and receiver. And um, this would, for example, be your laptop, and over here would be the access point, so to speak. Um, this particular circuit right here, as you can see, um, is, uh, is kind of complicated, but basically what it does, it detects whether or not a microwave oven is on. This particular light, L2, will tell us whether or not microwave oven is running. And that, in turn, will tell us, uh, we can use that to tell the transmitter to stop or start transmitting during that time so there's not any interference. Um, right now, I can choose to turn on one of these microwaves, and you can see that this indicator will turn on because the microwave is running. And this will work for uh, any of the microwaves that we've tested. So, for instance, I could pick another microwave, um, say this one down here, and turn that one on. And again, you would see the indicator light up. And I'm turning it off now. And finally, we can try a very old microwave, which sometimes have different characteristics than the newer ones. Um, and that will tell you that our circuit is really robust. And as you can see, that does indeed work. So the usefulness of this circuit to us is that it tells the transmitter whether or not to transmit. And I can show you exactly what I mean. If I turn on one of the microwave ovens here, um, you can see the light go on, but you can see this is the waveform over here that's telling the transmitter to turn off and on very quickly, which is the opposite of what the microwave is doing. So we don't have the interference between the two devices. Now, we look at how good our circuit performs in uh, mitigating interference. First of all, this figure here, it is in a case where the microwave is off and our um, digital transmitter is transmitting data. Uh, you can see that microwave oven signal is absent and you have this nice waveform and the bit error rate for this case is 0%. Now, let us look at the case where a microwave oven is transmitting. So now we can see how the microwave oven is interfering with our digital data transmitter. You can see that the wave, um, microwave signal is r sitting right on top of the digital signal in the frequency domain and in the time domain at the same time. So you end up with data loss. And for this particular case, the bit error rate is 2%. And that is enough to severe the wireless internet connection. Now, in this case, we are using our circuit to mitigate interference for the microwave. Notice that when the micro oven signal is present, the data signal is absent. There's a, absolutely no overlap here. And that is achieved through our circuit instructing the transmitter when to transmit and when not to transmit in order to avoid interference. In this case, as we can clearly see, the interference due to the microwave oven is mitigated. 
so the microwave oven signal will not overlap with the uh, data signal to minimize bit error rate. In this project, we have successfully used cognitive radio to mitigate microwave oven interference. So, in the future, we plan to explore other devices and experiment in a similar manner in order to work towards a full cognitive radio solution.